This is audio V. We're looking at atom, piano, rolls, dynamic panels. So we're going to select these notes that have all been put in naturally, no, no uh, snap applied. And we're going to bring up the first dynamic panels, which is quantize. And as you can see straight away, using the grid settings, it will uh, automatically jump the note starts to the grid setting, which is 1 16th. And you can see uh, a little ghosted overlay of where the note used to be. If we turn that to a quarter, you can see it even more so. I'm no longer using the grid settings. I'm actually using the settings within the panel. So um, also notice here that, again, like I said, this is a dynamic panel. So if I close it, the notes still stay quantized. However, if I go back now to the quantized panel, I can still change these settings back to anything I wanted. Now back now at 1 16th. And uh, notice the, the note start has a percentage value. So I can actually bring this percentage down and actually it will take me back to where the original note was. So you can decide how much quantize you want to apply like so. So we turn the note start off and we'll use note length. Now what note length does is it actually changes the length of the notes based on the grid value. So if I put it up to 100%, it will actually shrink these all to 1 16th, like so. Um, if I change that to 1 8th, it will shrink that to 8th notes, like so. And uh, if we look now at note end, you'll actually see that the note end will actually grow to the next 16th, which is the grid value, or in this case to the next eighth, because I'm actually using an eighth here above it rather than using the grid value. If I change it to 1 16th or to use the grid, uh, it'll actually just grow it to the next grid value, as you can see there. So that's your dynamic quantize settings. If you do want to bake the settings in, so say we wanted to bake the note starts there to to the grid positions on the 16th we just hit the quantize button and now that's baked um, that that you can't it doesn't matter what happens now if you open the quantize panel again you can't uh, readjust this is helpful for uh, baking things in because you may want to um, quantize something and then quantize again at a later date so you bake it in the next dynamic panel we're going to look at is the stretch panel and again, we have note position and note length. So if we change the note position like such, you can actually see that the stretch is actually dynamically changing the note position like so. So we could actually stretch the notes out like that to the end of the, uh, the loop. Or you could actually use note length too and um, again, this is a dynamic panel, so that's your note position and note length uh, stretching. And like I say, it's a dynamic panel, so until I actually hit the stretch button, this is, this is completely non-destructive. So if I bring the panel back up again now, I've still got the same values in there that I'd previously set. Whereas if I hit the stretch button and I bring the panel up again, You'll actually see it's it's got the, the, the same values, but they've actually been applied again. So if we bring this back to 100 and our note position to 100, you'll actually see it go and fit into the ghosted overlay because that would be the uh, default setting. That's the dynamic panels and we'll see you on the next video.